Oh, yeah. No, this might be my first potato peeling hot car. Now, this is Blair, my grandson, my oldest grandson. Now, we've been moving cows, we've been fencing, we've been feeding horses, we're now feeding goats. We chop and drop, maintaining food forest and feeding goats at the same time. We're picking out the big legume trees that are crowding out the food forest shading it out, we're cutting them down, giving them a bit of herbaceous material like, like comfrey and arrowroot and a bit of medicinal material. Comfrey is a, a mineral supplement for them, but we're now going to get some mugwort that will help worm them. So we're doing a bit of herbology at the same time as foragology. Is there such a word? Oh. Foragology? Oh, Maybe, no. we'll use it. Okay, let's go. One thing you get with this is a lot of sticks. If you look over here, we've got lots of sticks. So where they're in the contained pen and they start to bear soil in the steep areas, I cover, the, cover it with sticks while they dry out and become great kindling for winter. But I also throw the chicken feed in there so the goats can't get it. So our chickens are helping to process the sticks. So grains aren't so good for goats, and they'll try and get to them. But if I put it into the sticks, the goats can't get in there, the chickens can, but they don't get it all. And some of the chicken feed grains germinate in between the sticks, and the goats can't get it. And it, it sort of builds an extra casual forage in amongst the system. Chickens and goats working together, sticks being produced, which are normally a hassle but here they're actually serving a function in multiple ways. Funny how you can find an answer to almost anything with multi-function. 